Okay, we're here today. Uh, we're going to just do a little uh, engage in our sample to the bore of the LT30M. And normally what we do is uh, we use what we call a jam nut. That goes inside the bore. You could actually have access from the rear or from the front. So you could go in from the front like this, adjust your height for when you turn this in so this helps hold your sample in place. So it will help with vibration and some drifting. So now I have the jam nut in place. You can see where it's actually notched out. So it will actually, a screwdriver will fit or you could even use a small scale. And then what you could do is you just stick it in here, slowly turn it to adjust your depth. If you do it this way, you don't have to take this part off. It takes a little longer to change your sample, but I recommend doing either one, whichever works best for you. So here's this particular sample holder. And then you can get this started. And then what you do with the jam nut, you know, just give it a little thug. And you see how sturdy it is at this point. What's nice though for this particular sample holder is coming from the back. So you can actually hold this in the place where you want it orientated and then actually lock in the sample. I'm using another sample holder. This is for reflectance. Same thing, you could readjust your jam nut. All the threads are right-handed threads. Again, you could adjust your height using a caliper. That way then it locks it in place. Now what you could do, depending on your application, if you feel that uh, you could put a little bit of piece on N, uh, a little bit on your threads to give you a little bit better thermal contact. But uh, it's entirely up to you whether you could use grease or not. Just to finish up, this is another sample holder that we also have a design for. We have these uh, copper clips. So it could help hold your sample depending on what it is. It could be easily removed. You could put four in, two, one, all depends. We have some sapphire here. And uh, this is actually our third sample holder for this particular system. So we do have a variety of different sample holders. Um, and if you need something specifically, we do custom design. This is the close for uh, learning how to install a sample holder.